Oh, you, start, you seem to start quite well and then run out of ideas and we run through the first time. Is that fair? Well, I think we didn't uh, have enough urgency and uh, penetration first half until they scored. Then we had a... Because they, they never looked like uh, creating anything. We It felt maybe too easy, I don't know. But that, that's when you need that tempo and change of tempo. As we did in the second half, I thought second half we were excellent in that respect. Uh, creating more pressure on them, more chances, more uh, uh, urgency to our game. And of course, uh, but you've got to hit the target, you've got to score the goals when you have those moments. Ulla, once again, I mean, the, the issue has been raised this week, but once again, a lot of racial abuse against uh, Rashford during the game after the miss. Yeah. Do you have any, any comment to, to that? Oh, it's uh, the same as uh, we, sp we spoke about this uh, before the weekend. It's unheard of and we need to stop it. It needs to stop because... Uh, no, I just lost for words when it comes, if, it, if it keeps going. We keep uh, having all these campaigns, uh, no to racism, and they still keep uh, hiding behind fake identities. Or, so they, it's just crazy that we talk about this in 2019. Oh, Oli, you said sort of, I think towards the end of last season, but at some point that this season will be up and down at points. Is, is this... Sorry, say again? You said previously that yeah. this season will be up and down, with yeah. the highs and the lows. Yeah. Is that what you'll be saying to the players? Look, this is part of the sort of learning and progress of your team. Well, we have to learn, and we have to learn quickly. And um, the last two games, games that we should have got six points out of, if you look at it uh, as a neutral, if you watch the games, of course, with two penalty misses away from uh, uh, sitting there smiling, happy with uh, nine points now. Uh, but that's part of the game as well. And today with more than, I don't know how much, how many percentages of possession, but the first half an hour, uh, no danger whatsoever. But that's when you have to be alert because there was just one long kick and we didn't uh, narrow down. Such an easy goal, and then the last goal as well. After we've had that pressure all second half, David's not touched the ball more or less second half, and uh, they score again. That sometimes that will be uh, the case because teams will come here and defend against us and, and drop deep like they did today. I think we we're unlucky though, I have to say, uh, with uh, Martial's clear and obvious penalty. Yeah. It's it's a nailed on one, and uh, I think when the referee sees the game, he, he knows he's not had the, his best of games. Are you surprised the VAR didn't give that? Because as you say, I am. Yeah, definitely because it's a nailed on penalty. He he will not slip if he doesn't have a hundred kilo centre back uh, on his shoulders. There was also a possible sending off early, I think, for Gary Kane. Yeah, I. I I don't uh, want to go on about the, the referee's decisions all the time, but he's cleared through on goal, one-on-one, -on -one, stops a goal-scoring uh, goal opportunity. So for me, that is uh, no doubt either. But now it's uh, time for the boys to just get together. Uh, we've, we know that this, these five days have been disappointing in the aspects of uh, one point instead of six that we, should have, that we feel we should have had. But we need to stick together for uh, for uh, for the weekend. Southampton away, not an easy one, and uh, they've had a good win today. So we're, uh, we'll have to uh, use tomorrow's day off well and start well on Monday. Well, so your, your front your, your front four was, was very very young. The front four yeah. finished today. Given that, have you got any reservations about? letting someone like Alexis Sanchez leave, even though he might have had the best time, he has got experience. Alexis is a quality player, of course he is, and uh, uh, as you say, we don't have uh, loads of options, so uh, if, if there's an uh, offer that's good enough for the club, uh, and for him, maybe he'll go. Uh, if not, he's still our player, he's a quality player, and uh, he's, uh, he's been training well, as I've said before, there's no... Uh, no doubt about uh, his quality either, so uh, let's see. Oli, what did you make of Paul's performance uh, today? He seemed to take a lot of responsibility for the creativity, but then obviously he gave possession away for that. Wasn't it? Yeah, and then uh, I thought he, uh, as the rest of the team, uh, grew in the game. 
he wins the ball really well for our first goal. He plays some great passes and uh, he knows uh, and we know that he's going to want the ball all the time. And he knows that, yeah, he, he lost the ball, but he, that he'll lose the ball again and he'll try again. So no problem with that. Last week you said that, that the most important thing with the VAR is that they make the right decision even though it took a long time. Yeah. The rules, uh, it may not seem that that's always, not always the case, that they do make the right decision. Do you think that is uh, troubling? I think VAR, um, like the, they let the referee's decision be a subjective one there on the... I think it's a clear and obvious penalty with Anthony. I, I also think it's a penalty for... Uh, for Marcus, when he runs and he gets pulled down a little bit, and I'm 100% sure that this contact between uh, Dan James and their def uh, defender, now he's got two yellow cards where he's been there's been contact with him twice, and he's been, I have to say, <laughs> very unfairly uh, and unlucky there. Both uh, yellow cards shouldn't have stood. Are you concerned that he'll get a reputation though? Yeah, that's what you do get. Con <coughs> that's why I raise it here because I uh, he is not that type of player, and he keeps running that quickly. And if you look at the there's a video. Uh, if if you look at the video, there's contact both now and in the Wolves game. And he's such an honest boy, and he gets up and he runs and he takes people on. And sometimes he gets kicked, and sometimes with that pace, just a little touch and a nudge will be enough for him to fall. Jesse Lingard came off, um, you brought him off, he seemed to be struggling to say he's, he's had a bit of criticism where he's not scored Premier League goals since your first game charge. Is, is there any issue there? Are you, are you worried or concerned about him? No, we, we stick together and uh, Jesse's not uh, scored any goals in the last three games, no, but he's been a big part of our, our team and Jesse will, uh, will keep continuing being a, an important part. The, the energy he gives us uh, is lively. so. Um, but we felt Mason was, had to come on and create something, and uh, we will see Mason more often, definitely. Luke Shaw came up in the first half. What's the status with him? Uh, we'll do the scans tomorrow uh, at work, but uh, he felt something in his uh, in his hamstring, so hopefully he won't be too bad. Uh, we hope he's he's going to be back for uh, for Southampton. Uh, what is your impression of how uh, VRR is working in the Premier League so far? Uh, we have to get used to it and there'll be discussions because uh, it's the same referees making them decisions so uh, but just in a, in a different room uh, that <laughs> they're, they're in down at Stockley Park so sometimes you think they're making the wrong decision sometimes you, you, you think they've, they've done well so it'll work itself uh, and it'll find its way. Okay guys, thank you. Okay.